Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can make use of a gyroscope with the Arduino. So to start with here's the gyroscope that I'm going to be using and I'll just zoom in so you can see what it is. Okay so there's my gyroscope and um, they're not particularly expensive. I'll just show you the back. They're quite small. Um, there's the back. I've soldered this thing up already and you can see that it's got the pins defined which is very nice and um, yeah so that's my gyroscope so before I go into this we need to I need to explain what a gyroscope actually is for those who don't know so if I was to get this pen and um, let's face it this way actually so we've got this pen let's say we want to measure it's sort of the angles or the tilt of it. Let's say the pen was leaning forward slightly like that. Right? And now let's say it's leaning backwards like this. Sort of pivoting on where my fingers are. So leaning forward, leaning back. Okay, that's one axis. Okay, so let's say we have another axis here and it can lean, or it can sort of bank left and right. So, you know, it's banking left and now it's banking right and um, you could have another one I mean let's say here this is the top and it's facing upwards well now it's facing upwards now it's facing downwards now it's facing upwards now it's facing downwards so basically these are all axes and um, particularly for RCs and stuff like that that can be very useful because of course you could it would be very useful to know when your uh, RC is doing giving that sort of angle or whether it's pulling back or whether it's banking to the left or right you might want to stabilize it anyway so generally speaking a gyroscope simply measures angles um, in relation to something and of course something is generally level or flat anyway so that's where a gyroscope is now we need to go into the wiring now so I'll just quickly write this down now, I'm not going to be using I2C, I'm going to be using a protocol called SPI, which is Serial Peripheral Interface. So this is SPI, okay? If you want, um, if you want that one, this video is not for you, okay? Right then, so on this little device, which pins are we using and where do they go? So to start with, which pins are we using? I want to try and keep all this on the page now, but anyway, we're going to be using VCC, we're going to be using ground, then we're going to be using SCL, we're going to be using SDA, and on this side we're going to be using CS, and we're going to be using SDO, or SD0, whatever it is. Okay, so now, what are we connecting these to on the Arduino? So I'm going to be using an Arduino Pro Mini. So generally speaking, the Arduinos, if I remember rightly, are all going to be the same. But anyway, this is going to be for the Arduino Pro Mini. So VCC, of course, goes to VCC, which is plus 5 volts. Ground is going to go to ground, which is common sense. Right, serial clock, SCL means serial clock, and that's going to go to pin 13. SDA, which um, I don't know why it's called SDA, I think it's something to do with um, a different protocol called I squared C, but we're using SPI. Okay, so SDA, that's going to go to pin 11, which is MOSI, master out, slave in. Chip select, uh, this doesn't matter too much, but I'm going to use pin 8, because that seems to be the standard for some reason, for this particular module anyway. And then finally, SDO, which again, I'm not exactly sure what, what that is, serial data something. Um, that's going to go to um, MISO, MISO, pin 12. Okay, so that's how I'm going to wire this thing up, and um, I'll actually wire it up now so you can see. Right, so let's start to wire this up. First thing I'll do is just show you the labelling on the back, just so you know what I'm doing. 
Okay. Then let's push this in. Oh, stiff this board. Okay. Now let's start with. I usually start with VCC and ground. So VCC is here. I'm going to plug that into VCC here. Then, ground. The next one is ground, so push ground in there. And I'll use this ground up here. A bit easier. The next one is the clock. And I'll use green for the clock. So, serial clock to 13. 13 is clock, so push that in there. Uh, next is SDA. SDA. I'm not familiar with I squared C, but anyway, SDA is going to pin 11 on the Arduino. Okay. Let me go over to the other side. We will plug this into chip select oh, if I can. and chip select you're going to pin 8 then finally SDO or SD0 whatever it is is here the one next to it and that will be going to pin 12 Okay. Just zoom out a bit so you can see. I think I should just show you the rest of this actually. What what this band here is. Um it's just going to the FTDI. Alright. Okay, so it's wired up and now I'll bring my laptop and I'll write well. I'll show you a script. Okay, so I'll have to add the code on the um, comments or in the description somewhere. Um, I don't usually do this, but I've copied this code from somewhere on, somewhere on the internet and it works. I mean, usually I like to write my own, but not to worry. So I've copied this code from somewhere and um, it works. So I'll just flash this to the Arduino. Okay, and now I'll open up the console, serial console, and you can see that it's coming up with a load of numbers. Now I'll get my camera back and I'll show you what's going on here. Okay, so my laptop's here and I've got the device ready. So, what I'm going to do now is point this towards the screen so you can see what's going on. So I'll hold the um, device here. Okay, and now. Okay, so I'm going to tilt this whole thing forward. So you sort of like dip it down. And look at the first number, okay? So the first number is the X axis. I'm going to point it down now. And you can see that it's dropping. Lower, lower, lower. Lower, lower, lower. Until I'm pointing it right down. Then it goes to 130 something. And then if I do it back up, and then up the other way, you can see it's now a positive number, right the way up again, and then back to level. And now, if I sort of, I don't know the exact word, but if I bank, you'll see the second number change. So I'll bank to the left, and you can see that the second number is going lower until it reaches minus 130, and now go back level again, it goes to zero, and now I go the other way it goes to plus 130, okay and that's basically the gyroscope, and now the other one, the other number right now you can see is 130 or 28 or whatever it is if I turn the gyroscope um, upside down you'll see it's now minus 130 and plus 130 that's to do with the 
sensor being upside down or not and there we go so I'll just zoom back out again so that's how to program your own gyroscope so don't forget to click subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you want thank you for watching bye